Good morning, good to have you with me this morning. So glad to be here in Odessa and um, glad that you're watching, um, Whatever, whenever you're watching, glad that you're with me. I'm gonna talk to a little bit this morning from Mark 11. And, um, you know, sometimes there can be situations that are going on in your life, you know, situations that are going on around you, and um, you're just kind of moving over. You're going to let that, um, that attack or that sickness or that disability, you kind of move over and you're just going to make room for it. I'm just going to make room for it. And then finally, you'll have an aha moment and you'll realize, wait a minute, the Lord has called has said that I can speak to this and tell it to go in the name of Jesus. And so um, this is found in Mark 11. And um, these are things that, again, when we got a, the, a, a hold of the word of healing, we had already been serving the Lord for many years and loved the Lord and, and knew Jesus as our shepherd and knew Jesus as our Lord and knew him in many attributes. But, you know, you can know the Lord and have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, but really have not engaged him as your own, as your, one of his names is Jehovah Rapha, the Lord God that healeth thee. And so even though you accepted him as the Lord, your shepherd, you've accepted him as the Lord, your righteousness, you've accepted him as the Lord, your peace, that he is the Prince of Peace, you haven't entered into the, the, that connection that he is also uh, revealed to you th through revelation that he is the Lord God, your help. He is the Lord God, your healer. And so as you read the Gospels, you can see according to Mark, um, we'll read Mark 11 here, but in, in the book of Acts, what one of Jesus' main ministries was um, healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And, and that meant that people had, that had sickness, he, they were in that category. They were oppressed of the devil. So, so sickness and disease did not, is not from God. He doesn't use it to teach you a lesson. Um, in situations, you can open doors. In situations, the devil's just trying to put something on you like he did Paul. So there's lots of reasons that people will have an attack or an infirmity in their body, it doesn't necessarily mean that they have sinned. Uh, and so don't, you know, just because you're having an attack doesn't mean that you have sinned and, and that you've left fellowship. But one of the best ways to continue to walk in divine health is to continue to put the Word of God in you, continue to be in His presence, because in His presence is fullness of joy and treasures and pleasures evermore. So in his presence is contained in God's, in Jesus, the presence of God, the Father, and Jesus, amen, in the, with the Spirit of the Holy Spirit, with the Holy Spirit, we have fullness of joy. And contained in that is, of course, healing. Because, you, you know, if you're, if you're sick in your body and you're in pain, it's really hard to, continue to walk in, in joy. Even though it can still be resident inside of you, you're having that is continuing, that sickness is continuing to war against the joy of the Lord that is inside of you. So let's read, um, we're going to go to Mark 11, but we're going to talk just for a minute. Let me read, go back to Acts chapter 10, over to Acts chapter 10 and uh, 38. And it says, and this is and this is about Jesus, and it says, and it says how. Um, um, let me let me go back to verse uh, 30, uh, 35. It says, and in every nation, he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted with him. Amen. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace, shalom, by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all, of everything. And that word I say, you know, which was published throughout all Judea and began from Galilee after the baptism of John, which was preached. How God anointed 
empowered Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. So God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil for God was with them. Now that meant that when Jesus went through the city and he saw um, a woman that needed to be restored that was in adultery, that was healing too, okay? Not just physical situations like pain in your body is healing. God, Jesus was anointed with the Holy Ghost and went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. And so what he did as he was going, he met this person. He met the, the lepers came to him, right? And he said, I will be thou clean. Amen. And and he and, and other people came to him. He said, Oh, I will be thou whole in the name of Jesus. When those lepers came back, the ten lepers that came to him, he said, Go show yourself to the priest. That act of showing them themselves to the priest meant that they'd received the word of healing from Jesus and that they were whole, that they were healed. Only one of them came back and Jesus said he was made whole. And we want to be whole. We don't want just to be a band-aid put on, uh, just that this symptom would go from us now. Jesus desires for you to be healed, spirit, soul, and body. And, and, and just like Jesus went about doing good, we go about every day in our daily life being delivered, being set free, being him speaking to us in his word. Amen. As we go, as we pray for people, the Lord comes along with us in Mark 16 and he will, he will, he will show up because he's our helper the Holy Spirit is the Ecclesi is the Paraclete. He comes alongside us, and he, he he comes alongside us to heal all that are oppressed. So when we go and we meet an, a person that is oppressed, it did not come from Jesus. That oppression, that pushing down, that that sickness and disease, that demon that that of of affliction. Um, those things that are attacking you, the, the um, um, a, a, a warring against your finance, a warring against your peace, those are oppression. Those are things the devil's bringing to keep you from serving the Lord, from ministering his, his good news to others. But, you know, you've got to make a decision that whether you feel healed in the name of Jesus, he said, by his stripes, you were healed. You've got to trust that this word is truth, that God is not a man that he would lie, nor the son of God that he would repent. If he said it, he will do it. Amen. And so let's go here to Mark, um, back over to Mark. So, so Jesus, we see in the word that Jesus went about doing good and healing was part of, of what he did all the time. And so as, as little Christ. We should be going around, and as we go in our going, be available to pray for the sick, to minister, amen? And I appreciate that it says, at, at every nation, he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted in him, okay, with him. And so there is not male or female in Christ Jesus. You have that you are in Christ Jesus and you're not male or female anymore. In Christ Jesus, we have uh, received this commonwealth that we can pray for the sick. So I don't want you to think that you have to get them to your church to pray for the sick. It is in the going. You want to pray for your children. You want to take authority over the situations going on in your home. You want to resist the devil that's trying to come at your door because you can be sure he's going to be trying to knock at your door and try to come against your house because that's what he does. He comes to kill he comes to rob and he comes to destroy. You've just got to be aware. You, we got to. He's at. He's like a roaring lion, lion seeking whom he can devour. We have a large property here, and we have lots of wild animals on it. 
We have bobcats, we have deer, we have um, a lot of, right now we've been having a coyote, okay, uh, on our property. We, like I said, we have bobcats, we have birds, we have all kinds of things, peacocks, all kinds of manners of birds, and, um, and otters, and uh, just all kinds of situations we have uh, on this property, right? They are surrounding us. Now we are in accessible in our house. We are we are we are safe in him. But when we leave our house, we are still we are going and walking um the property and he's given us authority to bind the works or to send those out of there, right? And and take our authority. Likewise, you as you go in your day, God has given you authority in the areas that you are walking in. Amen. And he has people in your going that he has earmarked for you to pray for. It might be coming upon an accident. It might be um, a situation with your family. But just um, as like Jesus did, he went about every place doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Now, in Mark 11, it says, um, verse 22 says, And Jesus answering said unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. And he's responding after they were surprised that when Jesus cursed that fig tree, that the very next day it was dead. Okay? Now, we don't curse our trees because we're tree farmers. We speak a blessing over them. Amen. We bless them. We praise the Lord. We speak over our trees. Amen. We worship the Lord. They're worshiping the Lord. And we want our trees to grow. Amen. And so we bless our trees. We fill the, the atmosphere with worship. Amen. And we speak over our trees to grow faster. Amen. Uh, okay. So it says, so it says in verse 22, have faith in God. For verily I say to you, that whoever will say to the mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. And that's what we're going to do. We want to speak to that in infection, speak to that situation right now. In the name of Jesus, be thou removed. Be thou removed and be cast into the sea. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I speak to that situation. It may not be the healing, even though you're watching healing this morning. Maybe it's a situation. We speak to, I speak to that situation, that relationship, that business relationship, the be removed right now in Jesus' name. Amen? And be cast into the sea. And it shall not doubt in their heart, but shall believe that those things which you which you say shall come to pass he shall have whatsoever he says amen and so let's speak to that right now in the name of Jesus be thou removed in the name of Jesus we call, we speak to that mountain we curse it we curse that situation that infirmity that situation coming against us in the name of Jesus we curse it and we speak to it to be removed from us. Go from me now. Go from me now. Pain, go from me right now. Therefore, he says, I say unto you, what things soever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive them. Now, do you believe that you receive them? If you believe I receive it, I thank you. It's gone in, in the name of Jesus. That pain is gone. And so what you have to do, if you believe that it is done, you've got to do, um, you've got to act as if it has already been completed. Amen. And so that relationship, that situation that you are speaking to, to be removed, to go from you, that situation that you, or if it's healing, if it's a situation, a thorn in your flesh to go from you, now you're going to, now you're going to, you've received it in your heart and you're going to begin to act as if it is already done and you're going to start to thank him. You're going to praise him for it. I thank you, Lord, for
for that being done. We rejoice in you. We celebrate with you, Lord. We celebrate you. We celebrate all that you've done in our lives. And we thank you for what you have done. We are coming back like the leper and giving thanks because we want to be made whole, right? It says, therefore, I say unto you, what things so you so ever desire when you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. And when you are praying, forgive if you have aught against any, that your Father also which is in heaven may forgive you your trespasses. For if you will not forgive, neither will your Father in heaven, uh, which is in heaven, forgive you your trespasses. So we want to make sure that we are expecting, the Bible says in the Lord's Prayer, He says, I for, forgive us our debts as we forgive others, our other debtors. So you want to make sure that you're staying in, un, in forgiveness of others. Even though they have done things, even though um, just as we have been forgiven so much, we want to extend forgiveness to those around us. Amen. And so if there's an area this morning as we're talking about this that you know you have an offense, then in the name of Jesus, just say, Lord, I forgive that situation. I release them in the name of Jesus. I release that person. I release that family person. I release them in the name of Jesus. And I thank you, Lord. I receive. I receive my debts being forgiven. I receive my healing. I forgive those uh, uh, those situations. And I receive my healing in Jesus' name. Amen. And so this morning, I encourage you that you give thanks. Amen. You give thanks when you've received. Say thank you. And, and if you have unforgiveness in your heart against anybody, you want to examine yourself in light of this word. See, we are new covenant people. We have been forgiven all of our sins. So the number one rule of, all, of the covenant in Jesus Christ is as we have been forgiven much, we must forgive much. And, 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 and people, there's just people. People are people. They are not perfect. None of us are perfect. And so, but we can, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you, uh, by a choice, by a decision of my will, I choose this morning to forgive that person, Father. And I thank you as I forgive them, Father, you forgive me. So I thank you for being with me this morning. You can read back over Mark 11. Speak to those situations. Tell them to be gone. Gone. Believe in your heart. Examine. Find out. if it, Check your, locate your, your faith. Locate in your heart. Do you believe God's word says that you must believe in your heart? Um, and if you believe in your heart, it is going to be done. Now you act as if it is done. If you are healed, you do what a healed dog should do. Amen. If you've been, if you are delivered of something, then you walk in that deliverance. Not because you feel fully delivered, but because you have received it in your spirit by faith. Thank you so much for being with me. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And we'll be back with you tomorrow night. We have big Wednesday night. Hallelujah. If you're nearby, you can come and praise God with us. Join us. And and as we, we Wednesday night's always a, a, just a, we spend a lot of time ministering to the Lord and a short word, but we always gather. You need that injection. But please uh, join up with us. Come along and and fellowship with us. Every service is a little different. Amen. We always have worship. We always minister to the Lord. We always have the word. And uh, we always pray for the sick. So there's always those components that are in every one of our services. So even if it's not a healing service, you can come. And you we will agree with you. There's many ways God can heal you. One of the ways is that the, you, the elders will lay hands on, on you and, and anoint you with oil and you will be healed. So thank you for being with me today. God bless you. Have a wonderful healed day in Jesus name. God bless.